before I continue this video, this video is fair use. I am not intending it to be stolen, or as I may, I'm not, st I'm not stealing the footage or the audio for these logos. I like to thank the people who found these logos, as some of these are rare and possible to find logos that have been lost for many years, and we finally found them on the internet. I will. S some logos have been missing due to a mo being able to YouTube or because of too lazy to put them in here and make more content. Back to the presentation. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to talk about some features home entertainment. This movie was founded in the late 1970s to distribute films by Columbia Pictures, Trusted Pictures, and later on, and Gems. They released Betamax tapes, VHS tapes, laser discs, DVDs, and even Blu-rays, and even 4K Blu-rays. The first logo from them looks like this. This was used from late 1979 to late 1982. I have this is all versions of this logo always had the present text at the bottom of it and used the lousy Clue Pictures logo from whatever time. I also found a very more it's actually in black and white used for old school plus for Columbia pictures, so I have the logo intact on it. Even though it was actually the days of, of the of the Columbia Pictures logo actually made, well, even though this logo does not have that much animation, this next one does have some, and the logo look like this. This was used from early 1986 to late 1991. For being on, on v, for being a logo, this was mainly only seen on VHS tapes. I don't even know if any leaders still even have this logo. We're gonna take a break from the American ones, and we're now ready to go to international ones. The first one we have looks like this. This was used from early nineteen eighty eight, hmm, or nineteen ninety one. It's also a variant where I have that it has this instead of having a standard one.
For that time, the Google actually is better than American logo. The United Kingdom is actually kind of the best of this logo. But in 1991, the logo changed to this. This was used from late 1991 to late 1992. I'm using this just taking a lighter disc because it has better quality VHS tapes and no sound. And this and this one, this look has been only used for one year. The next look was actually kind of famous for being used, and it looks like this. This was used from late 1993 to late 2001. On VHS tapes, maybe this was seen on DVDs, the early releases. But this next logo was only seen in Australian and New Kingdom later DVDs, and it was the clue looks like this. This was used in late 1997 all the way to early 19 to, or 2001. Sorry. Even though this logo is actually the same. But as previous one, but in better animation, I kind of like it. Even though it's only seen in international releases of films on DVD, it's still fine. But the next, in 1999, it looks like this. It's used in 1999 to 2002. I also have found a variant where it has Queen of Star DVD instead of Queen of Star Home Video. So this is actually kind of unique for its animation. Even though it has, it's actually limited, it's still good. The next one looks like this. This was seen in year 2001 to late 2005. I have also found a variant with the VHS pitch on widescreen and full screen. <laughs> This look is actually pretty nice and has this an animation. The next one's actually better than this, but I have some notes about this one. The DVD fridge is actually better than the VHS one. And what the VHS the DVD one is all is all the same on DVDs. The next look looks like this. This one is used in 2005 and is still used today. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you, I hope you, I can see you guys next time. When I up, uh, do, when, when I upload the universal one, about the fair use thing, this is also another fair use video. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.